cut no gang, cut no gang, man. Look, today we're gonna talk about the history of barbering, especially when it comes to that ancient culture. Oh, 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 I need to cut it now. Nah. <laughs> right, I'm about to get you together. Now, barbering is one of the oldest professions in the world whether from a sense of aesthetics or because of religious conventions virtually all early cultures practice some form of beautification and adornment given the agricultural evidence found in painted pottery early sculptures and burial mounds as civilizations advanced so did barbarian profession developing its from beginnings as culture and tribal necessities to the art form as it is today. So how we cut today, I mean, we cut with cordless clippers today, cutting up gang. We got, we cutting with the breakaway blades, getting them razor sharp. They used to, used to have a, used to, they used to use the homes and the, the game, the barber game is, it's changed, but we should all know our barber history cutting up gang. And uh, man, it changed, like I say, from, we got gold clippers. We got all all silver clippers. We got man. So definitely want to know your barber history though, cutting up gang. Man, yeah, real important. Man. Now the Maasai warriors, for example, wore their front hair into three sections of tiny braids, and the rest of their hair into a queue down the back. Braiding was used extensively with the intricate patterns frequently donated status within the tribe several biblical passages give insight into the state of the barber in the middle east according to leviticus moses commanded those who had recovered from leprosy to shave all their body hair as part of the ritual instance ezekiel refers to another ancient shaving custom when he says take thou a barber's razor and cause it to pass upon thy hand and upon thy beard based on these and other biblical references it has been accepted that barbering was available to the general population of the middle east during the lifetime of moses according to barber history moses was here from circa 1392 to circa 1272 BC. That means Moses was 120 years old, cutting up gang, according to the My Lady Barber book in the Barber History, man. Although Greek barbers from Cilicia introduced shears to Rome sometime between 800 and 700 BC, barbers were virtually unknown in Rome until 296 BC. It was in Greece during its golden age, 500 to 300 BC, that barbering became a highly developed art. Well trimmed beards were status symbols. Greek men had their beards trimmed, curled, and scented on a regular basis. Barbershops became the gathering places for exchanging sporting, social, and political news, while barbers themselves rose in prominence to become leading citizens within the social structure. The status of the beard in Greece drastically changed in the third century BC when Alexander the Great Macedonian troops lost several battles to the Persians. As a result of the warriors' beards, the Persians would grab the Macedonian warriors by their beards and drag them to the ground, where they were either spreaded or beheaded. So, hey, beards are so raw, man. And when they came into war, they was grabbing them by their beards, you hear me? And the result of that, they were lost. Yeah, a lot of people died because of their beards when they went to war. That's why a lot of like our military don't allow hair on their face. It gotta be clean shave, you feel me? And uh, yeah, that's how Alexander the Great lost his war, man. He was grabbing these people by the beards, boy. When it was come wartime, you feel me? So Alexander the Great issued a declared that all soldiers be clean shaven. Eventually, the general public adopted the trend and barbers were kept busy performing shaves and haircuts. Now, Tensa Salusima or Sicily has been credited 
with having brought shaving and barbering services to Rome in 296 BC. The men of Rome soon enjoyed the tonsorial services such as shaves, haircutting and dressing, massage and manicuring on a daily basis with a good portion of their day spent with the barber. While the average citizen patronized the barber's places of business, rich noblemen engaged private tonsors to take care of their hairdressing and shaving needs. So back then, if you had a barber, you was man, yeah, they used to come over and boy, they used to get, they used to get, man, they'd do it all. At this time, there was no such thing as a doctor. That was the barber. At this time, cutting up game, there was no such thing as a dentist. The dentist was the barber. At this time, cutting up game, they came to the barber to get to, you feel me? The barber was everything back in the day. It wasn't no dentist out yet. That wasn't even a thing yet. It wasn't no doctor out there. The barber was that, was, was that you know? You feel me? The Romans expanded the concept of their personal service to include communicable bathing and what became known as the Roman base. Clean shaven faces was the trend until Hadrian came into power in 17 AD. Emperor Hadrian became a trendsetter when he grew his beard to high scars on his chin. A lot of us do that today too. Like you got a scar here, scar, you can grow your beard out, you can't even see it. And that's what the Empire Hadrian did back in 117 AD. You feel me? So yeah, cutting up gang. Yeah. <laughs> Resulting in the populace following his lead and the beard was again in fashion. In fact the world Barber is derived from the Latin word barbara, meaning beard. Another word derived from Latin tonsorio, derived from tondra, meaning to shear. The cutting, clipping, or trimming of the hair with shears or a razor is often used in a conjunction with the barbering. Barbers are sometimes referred to as tonsorio artists. Cutting up gang, man, look. Yes, cutting up gang. I am a licensed barber. So this information certified. We talking barber talk, barber history right now. And if y'all like information like this, if y'all like videos like this, cutting up game, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. You feel me? And I'm gonna see y'all again tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah.